Cinema of Mexico, Mexico has twice won the highest honor at the Cannes Film Festival, having won the Grand Prix du Festival International du Film for Maria Candelaria in 1946 and the Palme d'Or in 1961 for Viridiana, more than any other Latin American nation. In 2019, Roma became the first Mexican film and fourth Latin American film winning the Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film. Mexico entered production in the silent film industry with several movies, but many of the films up to the 1920s have been lost and were not well documented. The decree stated that films that showed the following were prohibited, views representing crimes, if they do not include punishment of the guilty parties, views which directly or indirectly insult an authority or person, morality or good manners, provoke a crime or offense, or in any way disturb the public order. As a result of the limitations placed on film content as well as the radicalization of the parties involved in the armed conflicts, cameramen and producers began to display their opinion through the films they produced. Mexico dominated the film market in Latin America for most of the 1940s without competition from the United States film industry. Her career began with silent films in 1910, moved to theater, and ultimately the film that made her famous, No Basta Sumadra in 1937. His films represented Mexico in notable international film festivals. Some films nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Films of the Time are the 1960 Macario, 1962 The Pearl of Cleocan, 1975 Letters from Marusia. More recent are Amores Peros by Alejandro González Inaritu, Y2 Mama Tambien by Alfonso Cuaron, El Crimen del Padre Amaro by Carlos Carrera, Arranquem La Vida by Roberto Snider, Beautiful, Hidalgo, La Historia Jamas Contada, Instructions Not Included, Cantin Flas, and the remake of the 1975 Mexican horror film Mars Negro Q La Noche and also the first 3D film of Mexico. In 2017, Alfonso Cuaron traveled back to Mexico to film his most intimate film, Roma. According to Patricia Torres San Martin, an honorable film scholar, there is a new theme emerging within the film industry in Mexico which is known as the new female identity. One of Maria Novaro's first short films was acquired by the Museum of Modern Art in New York for its permanent film collection and was distributed in the United States by Women Make Movies. D14A1BA00B52